We are at the Swamp, and it is ESPN College Football Primetime presented by Subway. A few things better than this, SEC under the lights. We got a confirmed title contender and an upset hungry rival. Tennessee taking on number 11, Florida. Glad you're with us, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Greg McElroy. Florida won the toss. They elect to defer. 51st meeting. Florida leads the series 30 wins to 20. They've won 15 of the past 16. Davis Jones, very dangerous return man back. Jace Chrisman to kick away as we are underway here at the Swamp. Okay. And he will start on the ground and he gains. Small on second and eight is going to test the right side. Third down and four. Here's Hooker. On the slant, it is incomplete. It Jones. At time, now tucks and runs, and he does this so well as he scampers for 11 yards. The so first down for Florida. Malik Davis gets the call, and he is wrapped up. Fun game. No gain. Davis gets work again, patiently waits, and then look at the leg drive. Fakes the pitch, and now Jones goes downfield, and he gets it complete to the big target, Justin Shorter. Jones, play action. They pick up the pressure. He goes inside the five. Gamble motions and flexes out. It's a design quarterback run on second and ten. And motion shorter to that side. He looks to the right. Plenty of time as Jones, running out of options, tries to get to the corner, and it'll be first and goal. Gators, as he was met by Alante Taylor. First and goal. Davis, nothing there. Jones looking for anything up the middle, and he's taken down right for motions to the bottom of your screen. Some motion down there as Tennessee almost came into the neutral zone, and Emory Jones to a wide open Malik Davis. Touchdown, Gators. We talked about that pick and that rub. You're going to see these guys disappear, which essentially just frees things up for Davis. And you look at the trash there in the middle of the defense. It's Jeremy Banks, the, tie, the linebacker, trying to... First down, Hooker. Incomplete. Hooker on the ground. And the first down for the Vols. With first year head coach for the balls, Josh Heupel. And in Hooker. Second and 11. Hooker being chased down, but able to get it out to Tillman. Out of the backfield, this is Evans with a good block in front. And Tyon Evans is off to the end zone. 47 yard touchdown for the balls. And made possible by the big fella up front. Watch how he's able to get out in front. This is Darnell Wright and secure the edge. All he has to do is get a little bit of a piece there of Bernie, the defender. Ride against the tide. And here he carries and he's weak with his performance. Did he ever? Second and six, Damian Pierce. He spins free and somehow gets to the outside before he's finally he's at Florida. And he goes for 14 yards, first down. Jones, Jones able to get free. He's like having another running back in the backfield as he crosses mid. Little ramp up in competition against the Gators. This is Pierce out of the backfield and a great job to in that versatile spot. Loss of four, they come to the other side, set up the screen to Henderson. Henderson gets to the outside, third down and four. 
Jones. Over the middle, and he's got it complete to Naquan Wright. Second half, these guys were leaning on that great Alabama defense. Wright testing the left side. Cut it loose last week in a remarkable way. Second and three. Wright makes a man miss, tries to cut back, but he's going to be tackled for a loss. 15. Tennessee dropping eight on third and 15, and that ball was almost intercepted. Jace Chrisman for the 47-yard attempt. Remember, Chris Howard was the kicker last week, and he missed that extra point against Bama that forced them to go for two. So Chrisman gets the start this week, and he puts it through. Mullen signed him at Mississippi State. Now he's playing for coach over here for the Gators, and he gives them a three-point lead downfield that they've left on the field the first three games. He's going to run it here, but he's dragged down. Second and six. That was thrown low. Third and six. Hooker. Wrapped up just beyond the line of scrimmage by Newker. i be kidding me. And with that, a 58-yard punt with no return man. Evans starting field position that Tennessee has had. Second and seven. Hooker able to get it to Warren and the big tight end. Game of the year. First down. Quickly to the outside as this is Callaway. Callaway moved this chains to pick up the speed. Second and seven. Hooker going to take a shot downfield and wide open is Payton. And look at this. The Vols take the lead. Javante Payton. Big shot. Deep shot. Hendon Hooker. And Tennessee out in front of Florida with a 75-yard touchdown strike. Tennessee fans can breathe a deep Exhale because I just saw a Tennessee quarterback hit the receiver and stride down the field. How many times in the first three games have we seen volunteer quarterbacks throw it 10, 15, 20 yards over the receiver's head? Not here. What a great throw from Hendon Hooker. Tennessee team. Emory Jones on first down. That's batted at the line of scrimmage. Scrimmage that have been a good pursuit. Second and 10. Pierce. There's a stiff arm. Sprint right, slings it sidearm to Copeland, and Copeland will have the first down. Here's first and ten. From behind, Emery Jones for loss for this Vols defense tonight. Second and twelve. To the outside this time. He's in the backfield now on third and seven. He leaks out. Jones is going to tough run. And come up a yard short. Reverse spin, fair catch called for just inside the 10. One for one. Very, very nicely done. Jabari Small with the carry. Wanting guys to do their job, but reassuring his teammates it's just four points. He is their leading tackler tonight. Hyatt getting in the space. If you can get Jalen Hyatt. Ten yards there, fresh set of downs. They go back to the receiver screen. This is Tillman. Second and eight, wrapped up in the backfield was small by Brenton Cox. Hendon Hooker bobbled the snap, and now he's just trying to figure anything out, and he's driven down at the 25 by Mahmoud Diabate. Emory Jones on first down gives to Naquan Wright, who has his tight end blocking in front. Second and nine. Naquan again. Oh, he was tripped up. He's five foot nine, but he can fly now. Third and five over the middle, and that is complete. Forward progress should be marked. Jones, and he gets it complete to Henderson. Locked in one-on-one. He's six foot five. Instead, they keep it on the ground with right, and here he goes. Inside the 10 and across the goal line. Twenty-three-yard touchdown, Naquan Wright.
backfield for a touchdown. Start from the 40. Pierce patiently waiting for a block. Tried to bounce it, then reset, and then dives ahead. Second and six. They go underneath with the shovel. Third and three. Jones looks one way, designs to run the other, and is gobbled up. Fourth and two. Jones to the near side. Copeland's wide open and spins his way to the 15-yard line. Ball came out. Extra effort from the Tennessee defense, and the ball came out, and they jumped on it with Beasley. Forced by Taylor, Beasley gets the fumble recovery, and those two may have just kept seven points off the board. On the perimeter, man, fun guy to watch. Small, good chunk play from Tennessee. Over three plays per minute on average, Hooker to the far side and curling. And then Hooker shovels it ahead to Jabari Small. And Jabari Small with a quick burst and his chance. And instead, they're going to play it out. Hooker with time, and they get it complete. Valus Jones remaining. Going to play it out again. Timeouts to use. He overthrows an open Valus Jones, and now six seconds remain. Trying to tie the game right before halftime. 47 yard attempt, and it's off to the right. So it'll stay 17 to 14. But oh, we've got a fun one here in the swamp. The way it's supposed to be when the Vols and Gators get together under the lights. Version. Jones to open up the second half. Look at the time he has. But coverage downfield doing their job, and Jones had to make a man miss. Sluggish offensively. Everything's been kind of underneath. It's been relatively conservative. Got to open some things up in the second half. Muscle fully for this week and this game. And now you got time to come out of the half and think about it and hit downfield like that to Justin Shorter. He drops it in the bucket. Guy who was originally the five-star to Penn State. Wide open right over the middle, just leaking out was Kamari Gamble, the big tight end. Here's Whittemore, could be a double pass to the end zone. Wide open, touchdown Gators, chomp it, Gamble. Trent Whittemore, the Gainesville local with the touchdown pass. And I love it. What a great call in the red zone. Find your tight end on the double pass. Now let's see how the Tennessee offense reacts. Evans just taking Florida defenders with him. And Evans. Again, spinning, helmet comes off, and he's still fighting defenders. Second and two, Jabari Small, he is met right at the line of scrimmage. Third and one. Hooker pulls it, third and one. And he's going to pick up the first down easily. As they got some talent off the edge here with the Gators. Jabari Small, and he's hey, the star right tackle, Cooper the center. Evans on second and four. He's past midfield, and now Tennessee with a very nice response. There's that pace and tempo. This goes for just a yard with Evans. Dealing with that sound. Communication critical. As he keeps it himself. Third and five. Hooker, quick strike, and going up to try to get it was Warren, but it's incomplete. Fourth down, and they get it complete. Look at those stack releases, right? Oh, oh, yeah. First down for Tennessee after they convert the fourth down. Hooker trying to escape, and then he is just thrown down by Jervon Dexter. Percent, I'm continuing to try to apply pressure in the middle of that offensive line. And they get another TFL. Hooker 
They set up Evans out of the backfield, but he can only dive ahead. Fourth and five. Hooker, can he convert again? Shallow cross is incomplete. Callaway dropped it. Turnover on downs. Florida takes over. Sprint right Jones. Sidearm, what an effort that time by Wells. 13 yards there. And now a little stutter step from Emory Jones as he split in defenders and dragging Tennessee inside the 35. Emory Jones. Jones going to run it. Tried to work off the block of Pierce. He does. Gives a stiff arm. Bird. Second and nine. Remember, they got backed up because of the penalty. Pierce out of the backfield. What a great move by Pierce. First and 20 not long ago. Jones. Blockers in front. That's a first down, a spin, and a little more. One conversion short last week against Bama. Second and eight, Pierce. And Pierce will get it to a third and one. Fakes the pitch. Trina's son gets it complete for a touchdown. How about that, Mom? Rick Wells scores it. We're going to go off the left side with Evans. Good choice as he is going to get the first down a little bit more, and then he is. 12 yards from Evans. Hooker with a man right in his face somehow gets it to Jones. First to Tennessee in 2020, and then everybody gets the COVID year and catches 27 yards tonight. Quick strike over the middle, incomplete. Hooker survives the first wave, but doesn't survive that. Jeremiah Moon. Start of the fourth quarter, Tennessee trailing by 17. They keep it on the ground with Jabari Small. Folks, do your sit. Try to run this game out. Naquan Wright. Second and nine. He pulls. Look at the block out in front with Gamble. Gamble's clearing the way. Emory Jones, explosive play just like that. To the Jets. Wasting no time. Getting back to the line. Tennessee has not met it so far tonight. Naquan Wright. They got to hang in there because it doesn't get any easier, obviously, in the SEC. Third and 17. Jones has all day. Coverage downfield. Start and stop. Under eight minutes to play. Malik Davis. Second and six. Davis. The third and a long two. In quarters of football. Third and two. Pressure off the edge. And out of the backfield is Davis. They scored on the same play earlier tonight. And Katie, we heard the other day about, you know, what was going on in that Bama game. As Davis takes it forward. Greg it's been so impressive. Pierce on second and three. Nice cut. And then Pierce takes it for a first down. Whisperer and can mold any type in any form in any kind of season. Jones backpedaling incomplete. I mean, with his quarterbacks. As quickly getting it to Rick Wells, who tips toes. Being able to bring out the best in his guys is what I've appreciated most about him. Damian Pierce tripped up there. You know, and I think there's something to be said for that. Jones on first down, lofts it to the end zone, and that is incomplete. Will in the run game. Like this. Pierce, here on third down. They bring four against him. He was caught right at the line to gain, and then muscling ahead was Henderson. Here too. Davis into the end zone. Florida racking it up now.
Nine yard touchdown for Malik Davis. Seen that look before, haven't we? Closing the gap a bit to Bama in the West. And then all of a sudden last week, and their defense has been locked down from start to finish. But I tell you what, man, Florida can just squeeze the life out of you. A team with a defense that everybody would love to have. Joe Milton the third. He is in the game because guy played through a lot of playing at Michigan last year. Didn't talk about it much as he zips it in, shows you that arm, and Bayless Jones shows you that speed. Can you harness that talent? So I think the task is ahead for both him and Josh Heifel. And he closed. That's where he's got to fix part of his game. Final half minute here in the swamp. Remember? That team, if they play the way they did against Ohio State, they ain't losing. Evans had some opportunities. And as they bring it down to the final seconds, and Milton is going to throw it away. As we put it out there, everything will be defined in the course of the next four weeks for these Gators. That'll finish things here at the swamp. 38 to 14. Emory Jones, 209 yards passing, two passing touchdowns, 144 rushing yards. Unbelievable performance and one that he needs to build on. Next week, by the way, this is not your dad's Kentucky team. They're going to have to play well on the road next week. Big week coming up for the Gators. Man, it's always fun under the lights down here at the Swamp. Glad you're with us. Next up, we got Arizona taking on number three, Oregon. For Katie, Greg, and the entire crew, I'm Joe Tessitore saying thanks for being with us. Enjoy the rest of the night. That's it from Gainesville.